Welcome back to the Little Scale Cars YouTube channel. For today's review, we have the Mini GT Pagani Zonda F. Let's get this review started with our casting. So, this is the second color, I believe. The first one was silver that we've gotten, and the proportions are absolutely perfect. It looks like a Zonda R or Zond F, excuse me, from every single angle, which is exactly what you want to see, and, I mean, it really, really looks good. It's mostly metal, from what I can tell. The roof even feels like it's metal. It's a little bit cold to the touch. Uh, our wing back here, this is plastic, right there. And then our base is even metal as well, and it actually wraps around, and all of this back here is uh, a part of the base as well. So, pretty basic for the casting. All of our little vents here are casted in as you'd want them to be. They look really, really good. Up through here, all cats casted in or etched in as you'd want it to be. Overall, just an absolutely fantastic job on the casting itself. Moving on to our paint and deco, we don't have a whole lot to say here because it is not really, it's pretty much just the single color. So this is called Rosso Dubai, I believe. It's just a dark red, kind of magenta almost in color. And it looks really, really nice. I'm assuming that this is um, a real life car. Every part of this is interior and uh, exterior colors are all modeled after one particular car. And that's probably why we got these bronze colored rims, which I don't love. Um, we have a slight metal flake to the paint. A little bit hard to tell uh, on camera, but it's there. And then we just have kind of a matte black on the roof. No kind of carbon fiber details or anything there. But moving into our details category, that's where this thing really, really shines. So, getting some of the big ones out of the way, we have inserts for our headlights, we got all the headlights exactly as you'd want, even the one that are a slightly different color. We have this little thingy up front, which has that little silver spot on it. We even have down at the bottom, we've got these little extra lights, I would assume. Inside there, we do have some meshing where you'd want it to be. And on the back here, this is a part of the base, as we said earlier. We have our... Uh, quad tailpipe thingy all painted up. We have our Zonda F down here and our three taillights on each side. Moving on to the side of the car, we have, I believe this is Horatio Pagani's signature. We have the silver thing is painted in. We even have the door handle button thingy. It's got a little blob of silver paint there. So that just is absolutely fantastic. Uh, moving to the top down look, We've got these little silver things painted. We got uh, what I assume to be the gas cap painted. We've got something over here, a latch maybe. These latches for the engine cover uh, have paint on them. We've got behind our mirrors, these things painted on. Getting a little bit closer. We'll have our engine inside this rear window here, nice and detailed and looking good. We even have lines on this back window here, like the real life car has. So, I mean, in the details category, and that's not even, we have not even discussed the interior. As you can see, everything looks fantastic in there, right down to the, the patterning on the seats. So, as an overall detail-wise, this thing is amazing. We've got these bronze wheels, which I will put a picture of the real life car that this is mimicking uh, up in the corner there. I don't love these bronze wheels, but they are all right, I suppose. They don't look too bad. Moving on to our roll test, it is a Mini GT, and it rolls just as smoothly as just about any other Mini GT model does. For our pros and cons, we'll start with the pros. This is only about $12, so you get a very, very high level of detail for not the craziest of prices. Uh, as of right now, this is our only 164th Zonda F. 
we have a couple of Zondas from a couple of different brands. But as far as the actual Zonda F, which is the Zonda that I grew up with loving, uh, this is it for right now. Only Mini GT. And then a third pro is the details, which we talked about at length, is just one of Mini GT's best jobs on just the overall detail level. All the little small things that they picked up on. And for our cons, we really only have one, and it's very minor. And that is at the back here. When you look at it, you'll notice there's something weird right there in the center. And when we flip it over, you'll see that that is kind of where the post for the screw that holds the back part of the car together goes. And uh, I don't know. It just doesn't look amazing. I don't know. It bothers me a little bit, but it's really not that hard. Or it's not really that easy to see, so it's very easily overlooked. So uh, that's really the only con I can come up with. Moving on to some size comparisons, here we have the Mini GT Zonda F with some other Zondas you might have in your collection with the Hot Wheels Zonda R and the Tarmac Works Zonda Cinque. And here we have it with some other Pagani models you might have in your collection with the Tarmac Works Huayra BC and the Matchbox Huayra Roadster. And finally, here it is next to some other supercars you might have in your collection with the Mini GT Porsche 911 GT2 RS and the Hot Wheels Koenigsegg Agera R. And with all of that out of the way, it's time to give this one a final score. I'm going to give the Mini GT Pagani Zonda F a 9.5 out of 10. The only real issues that I have are the wheel color. I don't really like that, uh, even if it is accurate to a real life car. I know there are Zonda Fs in this color that don't have these colored wheels on there. That could have definitely been something they, given, they gave us, but... Uh, at the end of the day, I can wheel swap it if it bothers me that much. Uh, the only other thing that Brandon brings it down is, as we talked about in the cons section, this kind of weird spot to put the post for the screw. But other than that, those two little nitpicks do not overshadow the amazing details and just the overall casting perfection that just is this model. I cannot really ask for too much more from Mini GT. Uh... So far, we've got two colors. There's a third color on the way, or that's actually already been released. Uh, I hope, I really hope we get more colors of this because I love it, and I really want the orange and black one. I'll put a picture of it somewhere, but that's one would make me so happy. And that's all I have for this review, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what your thoughts on this model are down in the comments below. Make sure you guys hit like, Make sure you guys subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.